You made it to UCSB on a Friday evening. <laughs> but you did it. You're here. And why are we here? We're launching an online magazine. I have no idea what you do when you launch something that's online. So an impact maker on my life was a professor of mine at Skidmore College, Professor Mary Zeistang. She came on board at Skidmore when I was a junior. She took over the Women's Studies Department and I took a number of feminist theory seminars with her and other, and other classes that really helped me capture uh, the essence of what it meant to have full, uh, full equality in this country and around the world. Uh, made me question issues around religion, around social services, around government, uh, and then also figure out how to actually change things to make everyone reach their full potential. Uh, she did so much in terms of shaping my thinking as an adult, and I'm still really grateful that we keep in touch. Uh, so Mary Zai Stang is, is the one I think of often in terms of shaking things up in my life. Roughly 25 years ago, a man named David Winter asked me to be on the Westmont Board of Trustees. I had been a student and a donor to the school, and uh, I said yes, and that uh, changed my life. About five years later, Dr. Winter went blind in about two weeks. He was 90% blind after seeing uh, like a regular person, and uh, the way he handled that blindness was uh, spectacular. He didn't try to hide it. He went out and got a cane and uh, decided he was going to act like a responsible blind person. And so for the last roughly 15, 20 years of his life, that's how he lived and he was an example to everyone, uh, especially myself. 12 months, 12 cities, and I did tell Brian it was over three continents, but that was before I did my geography brush up. <laughs> it's actually six continents. Paxi and I met, I, and I learned more about the magazine. I was incredibly excited because so many of the ideas and ideals that are part of Impact Mania, art, creativity, creative thinking, are embedded in the ethos of our museum and our campus at large. And so it seemed perfect to have you all here. We're, we're just seeing Santa Barbara tonight, but as I told Paxi this evening, she's going viral. She's taking <laughs> over the world, one city at a time. This was our first interviewee. I really wanted to talk to this woman, Lori Ashton. She's the lead counsel of Nuclear Zero, and the organization is here in Santa Barbara, and she's also part of an international uh, legal team and um, representing the Republic of the uh, Marshall Islands because she not only represents the Marshall Islands, but really she fights for nuclear disarmament for all of us. So this woman, Tall, blonde, beautiful, has the audacity to take on nine countries and 17,000 warheads. And two weeks ago, we learned that Lori Ashton, together with the entire legal team and the former foreign uh, minister of uh, the Marshall Islands, Tony de Brum, are all nominated for the Nobel Peace Prize of 2016. <laughs> at a, a photography magazine and I had an editor who was extremely knowledgeable but I was an intern and she was the editor so every my father told me you have to go to her every Friday close the door and say I need an hour of your time just to get some background from you just to learn from you and she was extremely shy and it was very painful for her to do this for me but finally we became friends and she encouraged me like no one else could encourage me to pursue my career as a writer and I, I learned that it was really important for me to do the same thing, for me to pass that message on that young people need encouragement and they need guidance and they need uh, the expertise of their elders to go and pursue their own dreams. And I remember this day, it sticks out and it will for the rest, as long as I live. I was working on a contract and we had a male guy that comes by, you remember the male guy? Yeah. He comes by and he put down the mail for me for the day and on top was the magazine and the story that I wrote, she put on the front page and I saw my byline and my name and I started to cry. And I realized right then and there that this is what I wanted to do with my life. I wanted to be a journalist. I wanted to, to write. I wanted to 
um, explore avenues that I never had before. She gave me the courage by giving me my first assignment to step outside my comfort zone. So I'm proud to say that I'm with my impact maker, I'm with my mentor, I'm with my friend. That creative energy in Santa Barbara is really something that's been around for a very long time and I think continues to grow and thrive and just uh, be a placemaker uh, for Santa Barbara that people see around the world. So I, I acknowledge and thank and, and celebrate that you're going to take a global trip. Um, maybe include some sister cities in yours and we can That's talk right. about that because there's some great art connections with Couture Montenegro, for example, and Dingle, Ireland, oh, just there. here. Yeah, for the film <laughs> festival, for example. So um, it, it's my favorite round the world trip if I were wanting to go to all sister cities. But just looking around the room, the cre creativity here and uh, the energy that happens is uh, really helps that one to two degree of separation, not only in Santa Barbara, but, but everywhere. So congratulations and thank you. We look forward to seeing many, many more interviews uh, online now. That yes. Don't need to have the papers. <laughs> 20 years later. Yes. No. <laughs> no, that's okay. We're still around. So thank you for the opportunity. to thank the team and the contributors and all the volunteers. Um, Ron Lucas, Lucas is on here. Thank you, Ron. And the UCSB students who were here um, and also obviously um, the museum, Cielo 24, because they had to sponsor with transcribing. Brian did not have a choice. Jaffer's Vineyard did have a choice. Dave is here and he's actually uh, offering us all this beautiful um, Jaffer's wine outside and Cavite water. Thank you. Thank you for all you do, and um, I hope to see all of you again and uh, continue this journey. Thank you. Thank you.